What do you do if you find your partner's been cheating? Now, if you've got a house, a car, etc. in the Philippines, I would say think twice. Take a bit of time. Um, a friend of mine had this a while back. What he did is he sold the car, said, look, I'm fed up maintaining the bloody thing. And then with the house, he said, well, we're going to move to the US, so let's sell the house. And he whittled away at the assets before he did anything. Um, once all the assets had been dissolved and the money moved, he then went through the whole process of the um, discovery of his wife had been going back to her original boyfriend for the last two years. To the point they were used to uh, have their liaisons even in his house when he was busy working overseas. Um, but if you jump the gun and go in there with all guns blazing, it's very likely you will struggle to recover anything. Um, I know the, the Philippines has a legal system, but like anywhere in the West, they have a legal system. It normally doesn't work in our favour. It works even less in our favour generally when we are a foreigner. Um, you could try and recover some of it, but at the same time, you could actually just be a bit smarter on how you do it and just bide your time. Is it calculated? Of course it's calculated. But you have to realise if somebody's cheating on you now, they are not going to improve. Um, historically, it's, it's somebody who cheats will continue to cheat. Be it with the person that's doing it now or with somebody completely different later. So, I would dissolve the assets. Um, but, but also it depends if you want to stay in the Philippines because it can be quite complicated and a bit of a pig dealing with the legal system in the Philippines. Um, I've had, there was, I can't remember her name now. She was chasing her husband down, she, she was married to a Japanese guy, and she was chasing him down to uh, Cebu from Manila because he would moved in with his girlfriend. Um, and she was like chasing him for millions of pesos um, for the kids and everything else. It can get quite complicated. Now, would I say the same for somebody with children? Probably not. The asset, whatever we think of the person that's actually cheated on us, the kids are the priority. And I know this is the excuse they use in the West when they give everything to the, the woman when we decide to call it a day or whatever. Um, but reality is the kids are the priority, especially in the Philippines where there is very little uh, beyond your income. Because um, very likely your partner doesn't bring in a lot of money, um, if at all. So the main asset is the house, the main assets are the car, etc. Um, but at the same time, you have to question, would your partner maintain the quality of life when you left? Um, because I know from people I've met over the years that when their husband died, left or whatever, the first thing the woman has done is sold the house and blew all the money within six months. If this is the case, I would go back to scenario one, ditch everything, sell it all off, and then look at taking it from there, whether you take the kids back to the West with you, or whether you agree a monthly allowance. Um, it becomes messy and complicated. And the, the reason I'm putting this video out here is just to put a few scenarios on the table is I don't want people just jumping the gun and instantly going bang I know you've been cheating with XYZ because the first thing you're going to do is shoot yourself in the foot you need to sit down and think where you're taking it um, and I know it's quite painful well it's some for some it's probably having their heart ripped out um, but at the same time you need to be above that and sit there and go, right, what are we going to do? What's going to be the, the outcome here? 
how am I going to get the outcome I want? Am I going to get ripped off for everything and then just disappear off to the US and be left with nothing and not even being able to access the kids? This is why you need to sit and have a think before you move it forward with anything. If it's just a girlfriend and you're just dating or whatever, anything you gave her, just write off. Um, what I mean is if you met somebody online, went and met them a couple of times, etc., just write it off as experience.